today I'm chasing Roman Bardet's time on a Tour de France finish climb in the French Alps. Stage 19 of the 2016 Tour de France was from Albeville to La Bette, high above the ski town of Saint Gervais in the Mont Blanc region of the French Alps. On the day it was Roman Bardet who went on to take the stage win and lo and behold he has the calm on this particular segment. So let's dive in and see how I get on chasing his time on the Monte du Bette. On the day, the riders approach the climb having come down the Côte de Demancy and turn right here which is off the main Salange to La Faye Road onto ostensibly what is a tarmacked farm track. This upgraded farm track is known as the Côte des Amarand and it ramps up crazy steep very quickly. It's a local climb to me and to be honest it's very rare that I ride up it. By this point into the climb I've already clicked into my bottom gear and I'm using a 36-34. It's only when I look at these data overlays that I realise how steep it is. We're already at 20% there. We touched 30% in a second although I'm not sure whether that's a Garmin error. You'll possibly remember this stage, it was a wet day. Uh, Chris Froome had fallen off coming down the Côte de Demancy and went on to finish the stage on Geraint Thomas's bike. Roman Bardet was in a small group and managed to attack towards the end of the climb to win the stage. This first section of the climb is the Côte des Amarand, which is pretty much a local's cut through. Um, you can see it's going up 13, 14, 15%, 17%. It's just crazy steep. The funny thing in the winter months is that this also shows up as a diversion on people's Google Maps. So you can imagine the chaos that that causes on a snowy day in February. So this is a full gas effort for me. It's the middle of April and I'm pushing about 3.8 watts a kilo as my FCP. And this is how I'm comparing against Bardet on the climb. So let me just scroll those back to the start and we can see how quickly Bardet disappears up the road from me. He's the purple one, obviously, um, as we launch up the Côte de Zamorand. Let's not forget also that before the race got here, I think they've been up the Col de Tamier, the Monte de Bizan, and then round to this climb to the summit of Bete. The summit is pronounced Le Bete, but it's spelled B E W T E X. The X is silent, so it pretty much sounds like Frank Spencer's wife, and some mothers do have them. You can see that there's uh, a few cows past me here. This was late morning and I was surprised how much traffic was on it for such a narrow road. As we wind up through the farmer's fields, we're actually heading directly for Mont Blanc at this point. You keep getting glimpses of it in the clouds in the background. Once we get to this junction, this is one of those weird French junctions where I have priority turning right, although that car was determined to get past me. I have priority coming out onto this road, but it's a brave man that takes that chance. So 
the gradient eases slightly here, we're at sevens and eights as we come up towards the junction with the main road from Saint Gervais to Megève. We're only on the main road for probably less than a minute, but it's uh, steep to get onto the main road as you'll see in a second as we come up to the junction. So it's only a couple of hundred metres on the main road. That was the coal marker board we've just gone past. I think that's eight k's to go as we turn left. The road is super quiet here to the summit of Labete, but for an alternative route, we can turn right at the next junction and it's a beautiful road that winds up through the chalet. It's probably one of my favourite climbs in our region. But we'll stick with the Tour de France route today as that's the route that everybody's interested in. And we can see Mont Blanc ahead of us and I think the Dome de Miage, but somebody will correct me on that if I'm wrong. Now there is a respite on this section where it's even down to, well it's flat in places but it's around about 5, 6, 7 percent before it starts to ramp up again. The views are just stunning looking down the valley, that's over towards uh, San Nicolas de Veros and uh, Le Contamine Monjolet. So as I get to this point, Roman Bardet is way ahead of me. I think he was 20 minutes ahead of me at the end. So I'm coming up to this junction where we turn right and Roman Bardet is already at the summit. After this junction, the respite is over and we start to see double figures again as the road quickly ramps up to 10%. Two thirds of the way up the climb now, and as we approach the final kilometers, it's interesting to have a look back at the Gruppetto on that stage 19 of the 2016 Tour de France. And coming back to the Strava segment, if we add Laurence Tendam into the mix, who was in the Gruppetto with uh, Thomas de Ghent and Greg Van Avermaet, it actually starts to make my time look quite respectable. So Laurence Tendam is the light blue dot and remember these guys are just aiming to get in the time limit at the stage where this is a full gas effort for me. But I'm managing to keep with them up the Amarand and then on the flatter section they start to leave me behind. They were probably doing through and off on the flat section and I've got nobody to pace me, maybe that's one for next time. By the summit, the Gruppetto is only six minutes ahead of me, so quite happy with that. And it is only April. Do be mindful that there's no facilities at the top of this climb in the summer months. The hotels are only open in the winter. 
But where we turn right back there, if you carry straight on on that road to San Nicolas de Veros, there's an amazing five-star hotel called the Amanset, which is mega welcoming for cyclists. They've even put a bike rack outside. It's great coffee and great pastries. So to recap, 27 minutes, 34 seconds for Roman Bardet. Hiding his power numbers from Strava. Lawrence Tendam doesn't hide his power. 267 watts for the 41 minute, 15 second climb. I don't hide my power either. 276 watts, 47 minutes, 17 seconds. Just approaching the kilometre to go board here, so if you're with your mates, it's time to start thinking about your attack. The 2016 Tour de France was the first time that this climb had been used in the actual tour, but it had been tried out in the Criterium Dauphiné a couple of times. On one occasion, it was one of the Yates brothers that went on to win the stage, and he attacked around about this point. Final bend around the corner towards the ski lift station and you've reached the summit of another Tour de France climb. So thanks for watching, please give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Please take a look at our other content and do consider subscribing and just take in this amazing view of Mont Blanc from the summit of Le Bete.